What is up, my brother? I'm Zedmot. We've got code Zedmot over there in the shop, and it is not Check Tuesday. It is all about Monday on Warships today. Uh, for those of you who gave me a comment to get entered in this giveaway over here, thank you for that. Big shout out to all of you. My weekend was full of those. Spoiler alert on that video about the new update. There is no new update. There are some details on Discord and Reddit that I'm sure most of you are aware of, but if not, then Chicken goes over them fairly well. We're gonna jump into the Boom Beach Warships today. And, uh, sorry, I had to get that Check Tuesday, what is up, my brother, because my kids have been saying it like crazy over the weekend. So if that annoyed you or you didn't understand what the heck was going on, I'm with you. Uh, we left on Friday with no accounts in Diamond. I've now got two accounts in Diamond. I'm going to tell you how and why and the rest of it. We're going to go over offense first because it's way more fun. And I've figured out that if I do offense first, I suck way, way less. When I do defense first, I lose like my first four battles when I switch. So have not attacked in 15 hours or so. Log looking fairly Decent. Now, a general rule, you need to be about 241. Uh, you see I'm 241, 233, 236, 241, 221. Got lucky there. Uh, fizzled out of stupidity, trying to rush. 236, lost. Uh, 257 against HLY. Shout out to HLY. I'm going to call you Hilly because that's what I cut read as. Uh, player in New Zealand. I faced a couple times this season, gotten the good of him both times, I do believe. 235, then 233. So 241 is the goal. And a uh, couple things to start out with. There are competing theories about how to use artillery and barrage. One of them is right, one of them is wrong. So the right way to do it is to throw four barrage towards an engine room and then three artillery. Uh, the other way which is the wrong way, which costs five more gunboat energy. If you have giant sausage fingers and you can't click on a five by five building, then uh, you can also do three barrage, six artillery. Uh, I don't recommend that, but maybe if you have problems or maybe you have difficulty with your fingers or something, do consider that. But overall, cheaper to go with four and three. So, um, Six engine rooms is the way to get to diamond right now. Uh, that is the easy way to do it. Go up, get your troop health, get your bullet, get your artillery and extra troop damage. That is all awesome stuff for both the heavy chopper rushers and the rocket chopper, heavy chopper, rocket chopper people. When you get bullet, you can get rid of a heavy chopper. So you get six rocket choppers instead of five. When you get artillery, you don't have to use that 34 or 40 GBE barrage to get rid of that engine room, which is huge. And of course, troop damage is always fun. So I have the extra doom cannon, which was probably not necessary. I also have the laser beam, which should have been a shock blaster, probably. I don't have green mines. We are saving to get to seven engine rooms. More on that in the later half of the video. My spoiler account, my defensive account does have the keys to go to seven. We'll give that a, some thought. And then uh, I'll show you some of these hits. So we'll start out with the fastest of the bunch against HLY. Now, uh, before we go too far, I'm going to pause here. And the basics of this are, let's do a quick drawing. You guys have said you love the drawings. As the siren goes by, let's close that window, shall we? Window shut. Uh, we're going to drop a screenshot to get started. Uh, we're gonna drop Bullet over here. He's gonna head over into this general neighborhood without any supervision. That's gonna distract the Doom Cannon. That's gonna be great. Maybe even distract some of this stuff over here. If he dies, don't really care. I once in a while throw an energy drink out, but generally speaking, he's just kind of there for now. We're gonna clear with one heavy chopper here. It's gonna tank the damage for all of this stuff in this neighborhood. Uh, they're all gonna shoot at it. Um, and then all of your rocket choppers are gonna be dropped in this neighborhood. We're just gonna clear in this general direction. Now, for those of you doing some quick math, you realize that we are short one heavy chopper. So once 
Some of this stuff has been cleared. We're gonna send a heavy chopper up that right hand path. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna tank the damage from that boom cannon. Otherwise, we're gonna have to shock that a bunch and it's gonna be annoying and silly and frustrated. Uh, so I will show you that in time. For some reason, it seemed like it came unshocked there. Standard, standard stuff. I think I dropped my heavy chopper on the right hand side a little bit late on this one. And then we're going to be barting out that engine room since we're going to be going generally in a counter or anti-clockwise manner. You see that I threw that shock. It wasn't really required. That heavy chopper was coming, but I am overly paranoid about losing any sort of rocket chopper. Like, all of my GBE is going towards keeping those things alive. You see bullet dealing with all of those things, throwing all of our extra GBE and shocks and flares and things and 257. I think my fastest time isn't even on here. I think I beat a Seeker, but I had three minutes, four seconds against a Seeker player and Seeker players are the primary enemy here. Uh, you, I mean, I can beat like 95% of heavy chopper, rocket chopper players, but when a Seeker player comes in, uh, it's some trouble. So. Seekers, if you are interested in Seekers, they are all sorts of fun. I haven't used them in a while, so they're not going to be part of this video. Let's find another quick video, shall we? A 241 and uh, trying to find a front load. Let's find a front load. Generally speaking, I'm a little bit slower against them. Shout out. There we go, Rick. This, I think this is Rick from Reddit, but again, on this left hand side and shout out to both Orion and Mackett for talking about this with me going left we're gonna get these two engine rooms down then we're gonna go to the back then we're gonna go over to that back then we're gonna get to here and you'll notice that I didn't talk about this engine room in the middle because we're gonna use our GBE to negate that one bullet sending out front I think I might have even had taunt deployed here but just one shock Heavy chopper, rocket chopper, getting all of this stuff and then just clearing with rocket choppers. And I think I might even throw a second shock. There comes the barrage, getting all of our GBE onto that middle engine room. And then as soon as we have time, doing the old pullout maneuver, which is so important in Boom Beach. And my flares are somewhat short level, so I'm throwing the occasional smoke and then the shock, and then all of our troops are gonna start firing. You could go straight onto the engine room, but I have been a little bit gun shy about doing so. And then again, I'm flaring onto that sniper tower, which is not super smart, as you can see here by this shock blaster. We put our troops right into its range and then getting rid of the sniper tower because I wanted to not have to worry about my rocket choppers being a little bit too overprotective. And then finally throwing that flare out kamikaze flare with, I think I might even have two shocks there. There we go. So two shocks. Probably better to do two shocks and then throw your artillery. What I end up doing before that is throwing some artillery and only getting one shock and that's when I fizzle. So quick, quick times. Those front load bases are a complete pain, but go left. Left seems to work far, far better. Let's do one live hit. Disclaimer here that I have not attacked in over 15 hours. Going to be rusty. Going to be rusty, probably gonna lose. Also got interrupted by a phone call. So you'll see my rank has come down to 20. So uh, that loss that you will likely see here in a second will be a good segue to my other account, which is frankly insane. Getting into diamond with it was incredibly easy though. I unlocked a node which changed my game drastically, made my attacks, not so gosh darn cringeworthy, so do stick around for that little bit, if we can get a group. Anyways, I have not mentioned it. Oh, there's my first seven engine room. Okay, this is going to be super, super, super interesting. I'm actually going to swap out, bring in two boats of Seekers. I think I can send Seekers to that back corner. They have 100% building damage, so I might be making a mistake here. I also don't know if that engine room is closer than this engine room. So this might be a giant, giant, giant mistake, but I'm kind of okay with that. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is I am gonna send 
Ooh, is this is this is risky. This is definitely definitely risky. We're gonna go one two here. We're gonna go you over here and you there, and then bullet up this side, trying to get all three of those front engine rooms at the same time. Our heavy chopper has already been shot down. That is not a great start for us, but as soon as we can get onto these engine rooms, great things are gonna start happening. Now, like I said, I am a lot bit concerned about if my seekers are gonna turn right, so I'm gonna take a couple extra seconds here, and then I'm gonna throw an artillery there, and we're gonna go something like this. This is risky, my friends. I don't necessarily recommend this, but uh, let's get going with our barrages on that back, back, back engine room. Seekers are headed in that right direction, and then we're going to send all of our troops over onto that, hoping and praying that our Seekers are not going to die in the process, and we are probably going to lose. 255 Decent. I could have gone faster, but I don't know exactly. This is my first seven engine room base that I've faced. Kiro, what have you got for us? We win. Huzzah. So having Seekers, I told you guys they were a great time. We got 12 stars out of the deal. Not going to claim any of those chests in gold. We are going to jump on over into my other account and like i said this one does have three chests available that's going to get us up to at least 60 more keys hopefully 66 keys and that should get us into that seven engine room level now seven engine rooms maybe you want to hold out for building health as you saw there but um we are going to show you these hits my wins and losses have been up and down in and out as well and they are not fast. Like, I'll show you my replay here and see if you can figure out the node that changed my season on this account. Uh, it's going to be here in a second. Yes, Laser Rangers are great fun. Yes, I did max them, but they did not change my season. What changed my season is coming up. Actually, I don't think I even use it in this attack. I think I just walk through this base. Okay, so I was wrong. It is not shown quite, quite yet. We'll get there in a second or two. Coming in about five, four, three. Come on. There it is right there. Flares drastically changed my season. I went from fizzling on almost every base to finishing almost every base. So if you are in this ridiculously terrible 200% building damage, 50% building health, sort of area go get yourself that flare flare made this season tolerable kavan definitely tempting me a little bit but i think i'm gonna go seven engine rooms let's see if uh mr knight wada has done that yet ah was really really hoping the knight wada had gone seven he went and got that microwaver i feel like that was less than ideal that's why i have not gotten it Going to get that seven engine rooms plus those building health going to make things a little bit better. We'll do one live hit. Win or lose, that's going to be it though. Speaking of winning or losing, how about them Canucks? That was amazing last night. Hearing the stadium absolutely rocking from home. I was not there, sadly. But uh, lots and lots of good stuff there. Now, where I am concentrating my GBE on these bases is at those shock launchers. I need to get rid of shock launchers because they absolutely end my attacks. We are then going to get all of these puppies out here. One, two, three, getting all of these laser rangers on this right hand side. And I know it's silly and probably unexpected, but we are using Brick and her battle orders to cut through all this stuff. I just found that her cluster grenade was doing nothing for me. I also found that um, the one, two, um, Iron Will was just not saving any troops. I think I have negative troop health on this account, so it really wasn't doing much, but getting these troops up close and personal with those critter launchers making a big, big difference for my attacks. I still am requiring my opponents to fizzle. 
people can still clear my base ridiculously, ridiculously quickly, so I can't I can't clear them faster than they can clear me. I've got no offensive tools to do so, but we can walk through bases and lots and lots and lots of people are still fizzling. I think that once they get seven, those fizzles will start to go away a little bit more. But for right now, as you can see here, we can take down all the bases. Uh, laser rangers shooting things behind, kind of like grenadiers do, giving all of the best attributes that grenadiers do uh, with none of the bad things like missing our barrages and throwing over the top. They just throw through. So those ladies are going to be in a world of pain though. That back shock blaster doing all sorts of damage. I would love to flare it, but this left hand side engine room might just be the crux for us. And that shock blaster is not ranging all of our Zookas. So I've got a weird, weird spot for these troops where I just need to get them away from that shock blaster, rescue like one or two of those Zookas and this person has cleared my base. So as soon as I get cleared, it's an instant loss. It's that simple. Anyone who can clear my base is going to win, which kind of sucks, but that's just how the cookie crumbles. Um, I told you I can get almost every base down. And in this case, I went out there and fizzled, got a little bit too cocky. So we're going to fail almost always failing going from offense to defense or defense to offense at least we've got a little bit of a cushion there to collect at least one of those chests in diamond and as you can see by my log um two people will get it three people won't like this person fizzle 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 uh, basically all of my wins have been from fizzles so that's the way it's gonna have to stay on this account but if you are defensive, do go get those flares. My gosh, does it make your season more fun. So a lot more offensive play today. Defensive play probably tomorrow because I'm going to go get that seven engine room level. And by the time we hook back up, I am going to have my heavies boosted. By the way, do boost your heavy nodes. That's more important than the heavy choppas. And we're going to have that building health node maybe. Uh, 26, that's going to be 66 keys. I am going to be, if I claim in diamond, we should be able to have there. So I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for coming in. Um, lots of things to talk about. I didn't talk about anything that I did on my weekend because I was completely and utterly swamped with things in this video, but keeping it on task, probably a good thing I do suppose. Do go and join that contest right there though. That blue giveaway inside critter plushy goodness. I'm not going to tell you how to enter. You got to figure that out for yourself. But uh, many of you figured it out very, very quickly. And clearly I need some more resources and I'm wasting my diamonds here. So I am Zedmot. Keep that submarine diving. Do your Hammerman fleet for intel for your task force. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for coming in. Peace.